Hello everyone and welcome to Kick-Ass Gaming. Today I will show you the expected value from my 48 box break of the Speedo Midterm Paradox boxes. My total spend on these boxes were €197.69 making my individual cost per box to €4.11. Before I get stuck into the breakdown I'd like to ask you to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and also comment down below any questions you may have. Okay, so let's get stuck in. We have the secret rares in front of us. So they're in total in this set. We have 12 secret rares. There appears to be one kind of short print. And if you were to guess, it'll probably be, you probably would have guessed it to be Dogran the Mad Flame Kaiju. Over the 48 boxes, in which there's four secret rares in each individual box, we only got 10 of those, uh, with the average being around 15, 15 and 16 per card. Value per card, as probably expected, Dogron is the most expensive as well, being €3.74 per copy. The next most expensive is a Hero Lives here. Uh, which was three euro and one cent and I have to say it is a Absolutely beautiful card Maybe not as beautiful as bubble man, which would be my personal favorite, but each one of these secret rares are absolutely gorgeous For other cards you have drill droid at 66 cent bubble man at one euro 23 tempest at 214 197 for the gate guardian one euro for Kazajin, 120 for Sanga, and 127 for Suijin. Super Vehicle Jumbo Drill and UFO Fighter are the cheapest in the set at 44 cents and 41 cents. And then Water Dragon comes in at 70 cents. Let me bring it in, you can see it. So, in total, in the secret rares, there is a total value of 267 cents. Uh, 260 euro sorry and 27 cent per in total which is beyond my expectations now to touch in the comments in the comments there's a 110 comments per per mini box which is a crazy amount and when it comes to value there isn't a whole pile we're looking at the most valuable common being polymerization, then Dogron, both around 40 cents, Blazeman, Gate Guardian, Curse Seal, and the Hero Lives being around 25 cents. There's other cards like the Living Possible and the other breaking Kazajin Suijin and Sangha the Thunder that are around that 20 cent mark. For the set in the commons, I have for my valuation. Just giving each card a value of two cents so that to account for like the time that's going to take to sell certain cards and also I do foresee a large amount of these cards just being bulked out and unlikely to sell as singles. So for the breakdown of my cost and basis of profit for each section we have the cost of 197 we have the secret rare value coming in 267 and the commons um, at my lowered amount accounting for the ones that will not sell and we have 107 giving a total value of 374 and an expected profit of around 177 resulting then in an expected profit margin of 47 percent which is tremendous Getting a 47% on a breaking of a product is brilliant. And for this set was valued so poorly. But you do have to bear in mind that I got it at quite a low cost basis. Leaving that even to the M that like you know, the value per box is being around seven euro and eighty cent for break even. If you're going to look to buy this product to get profit out of it, I would be looking at it at paying no higher than six euro. But you'll need to leave yourself around that 25% margin. 
Once again, if you enjoyed this video, please leave your like and subscribe. And any comments about this video or any of my other videos, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Until next time, this is Kick-Ass Gaming.